Soldiers on the streets. Firefights in broad daylight. Piles of corpses. Mexico is suffering from its worst ever drug violence as rival cartels fight over billion dollar trafficking routes to the United States. But the army is also hitting the gangsters like never before, rounding up their foot soldiers and seizing their drugs, guns and gems in record quantities. The drug bounty captured this year gives new insight into the wealth, workings and bizarre culture of the narcos. Global Post travelled to the Army HQ in Mexico City to find out what they have confiscated and what they have been learning. The seizures are stored in a curious closed-door museum of narcotics created by Captain Claudia Montane, an officer who has spent 25 years on the front line. It includes the latest machinery confiscated from clandestine labs, such as this cooker that churned out tons of crystal meth, a drug that Mexican cartels are producing in ever greater quantities. Moving through, we see how the smugglers have perfected ingenious ways to sneak these drugs into the United States, in boats, customized cars, and even inside human bodies. Ella en sus glúteos traía dos prótesis. En cada una de ellos, dos kilos de heroína. And to back this up, traffickers have the latest high-tech spyware, such as this contraption, which can listen to cell phones. On the army side, we meet one of Mexico's most loyal servants, the deceased sniffer dog Suyaki. Así es, fue campeón. Localizó más de tres y media tonelada de marihuana y más de 102 kilos de pastillas psicotrópicas. Finally, we arrive in a room dedicated to what Mexicans call narco culture. Here we see an astounding new collection of treasures seized from the kingpins. These 10 gold plated guns were taken from the home of one mobster who was shot dead this year. The diamond encrusted pistols bear names of his heroes, like Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa. Another bears the fashion label Versace. Other gangsters had entire rifles coated in silver. Esto, por ejemplo, es una muestra del ostento y el gasto excesivo. These medallions seized after a recent gunfight show an even more sinister side of the cartels. They were minted by a gang called Los Setas to award to their most fearless soldiers. So all the billions of dollars spent on crystal meth, cocaine and marijuana by Americans, a lot of it goes to buy the jewellery and the diamonds here. But it also has a big cost in death, because in the last year and a half alone, more than a thousand police and soldiers and Mexican officials have been killed by drug traffickers. Writer Alejandro Almasan has interviewed drug lords and their hitmen, leading to threats on his life. He explains how the extravagance is used to show off the power and success of the crime bosses. Pero siento que con todo eso tratan de resarcir, por un lado la pobreza y por el otro lado le quieren demostrar al mundo que son poderosos, pueden conseguir lo que sea, no, pueden ir por un diamante a Guinea, no, eh, no sé de cuántos quilates y ellos lo pueden tener, o sea, porque para eso están arriesgando su vida, no, para eso han trabajado, para eso traen but Alejandro says that despite these seizures shown off in the museum, the army is far from victory against the cartels. Yo sí creo que la guerra contra el narco en verdad solamente se la cree Calderón. Creo que no está funcionando. No creo que que haya más muertos por por la guerra. Yo creo que simplemente hay más muertos porque los cárteles están peleando las plazas, no por no por otra, no porque haya ido el ejército, porque haya ido este la AFI u otro tipo de policía. Este, porque la mayoría de los muertos finalmente son, son mismos sicarios, son mismos narcos, ¿no? As violence escalates, the museum is also teaching troops how to identify the enemy. This reconstruction shows a typical narco foot soldier guarding drug crops, a site now as ingrained in the Mexican countryside as drug uses in the United States. On location in Mexico City, this is Yoan Grillo for Global Post.